podcast. We've renamed it from the form, which we were known as last year. Uh, a few different reasons, mainly because everyone was asking, where's the form coming from or what, what was that? My thought on it was, when I got people in, it was going to be, how's the form? But it didn't really roll too well. Um, so yeah, we're running with the Kenning podcast and that's, that's what we're going with. Now, apologies to everyone that sort of got on board last year. Uh, there was a lot of people reached out and sort of offered help. And that was sort of, you know, technical wise and different ways of getting the podcast out. You know, guys lend me equipment and that sort of thing. Now, this is my third or fourth take at, at this, this particular episode and this sort of podcast sort of, what would you call it, season. Plug a set of decks in, no problem. Plug a single microphone in, no. I've been at it for flipping weeks. But we've got there. Um, hopefully down the line we'll actually get people in here. And that will be another whole piece of equipment needed. At the moment we're running on audio only. We're in a room above the shop here. And it's not, how would you, would you say it? It's not audio, it's not video friendly. We need a wee bit of work done first. So that's where we're running. Um, now... Last year, got a few people lined up, and then when the when it came to the crunch, people didn't really want to get involved or like be on video. And um, then it took a global pandemic um, for people to get familiar with FaceTime and Zoom meetings and, and and that. So I reached out to those people again over the last few weeks, and yeah, we've we've quite a few people lined up over the next few weeks for just a bit of a chat. Everyone has a story to tell in cycling. Um, lo- local guys and even guys a step further afield that, that I'm friendly with and I've lined a few guys up over the next few weeks so stick with it stick with it and hopefully I don't sound too dire and I'll sound a bit like myself but this one I'm going to reach over to Mark Johnson in a, f- a few minutes last night we had the first TUZ team Ulster Swifters we had the first commentating li- on a live stream that Mark's sort of been working on on his sort of end. He's a better, a far better internet connection than me, so he's able to run from his laptop out to YouTube Live and Facebook Live, and that is on his company's page, which is WinMac, and then we also had it on the Kenning Cycles YouTube, and him and Ross Blaney commentated on it, and it was received really well. So it's something that we're we're looking at for the future, and maybe somehow broaden it. Um, and it is great to see that that is a re- recognised and a official Swift event now from you know maybe 30, 40 guys um, just sitting Swift and their and their guides and you know at one stage our Ross was having to put out a hundred invites every week so now that it's official it's um, yeah it's it's going in the right direction and um, next week is now the first one that is part of the Ulster League Ul- Ulster Swifters League. So yeah, it's all happening. So we'll cut over to Mark now and uh, see what his insights was, insights were, and how it all happened. But um, yeah, guys, let us know what you think about this um, and what or who to change, if anything. And uh, yeah, thanks for the support, guys, and we'll catch up soon. Here we have Mark Johnson, aka Stickers to some and <laughs> Snickers to some others. Uh, Mark has uh, joined our club from about three years ago. What was your last club? Uh, BC Ivy, based um, in Scarva. Based in Scarva, so you're a bit of a international for the far away, the, yeah. Our club. Well, I wouldn't say um, I'm local. No, a, a foreigner. <laughs> so, Mark's been part of the club, um, good friend, and done a lot, well, not too much racing in the last couple of months, anyway, last year. Never did any. Couple this of mountain bike races. Year. Yeah, this time last year we went to, wasn't it Ballyhura for the, the second round? Yeah, Bike and Blitz, wasn't it? Yeah, you had a good run that day. Oh, aye. Beat yeah. some big names. <laughs> Myself included. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mark, give us a wee bit about your background and how lockdown's been for you. Uh, background in cycling only started about, I think it was 2016. Cycle to Work came to my work, so I got a bike. And believe it or not, the first bike I got was. A cyclocross bike, Boardman cyclocross right. bike. So scooted about in it for a while, and then wanted to go faster. So joined the club, got a racing bike, and that's basically it. You done a bit of TT in as well. You bought a TT bike off me. Yeah, um, had a few TT bikes before I started really liking it, and then I wanted something good. So good old Timmy Beatty there, 
put yeah. you in the right direction of a track on yeah. yourself before I knew who yourself was. Oh. Track speed concept was gathered up. Brilliant bike. Yeah, Never got out right. on it last year at all. Clacking dust. Clacking dust in the roof space. No, there was a few TTs during the year. And yeah, was, I never got them. Yeah, I was sort of talked about them a wee bit, but we never actually yeah. got around it. But you're a bit of a Swift, entrep- well, Swift man, aren't you? I, well, Swift started back in lockdown for me, so that's how I sort of got into that. Uh, did the Cycling Ireland races, and suppose first batch, yeah. yeah, the first batch there. I think it was April, wasn't it? The, the first one started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when the made when the big lockdowns were on and they weren't, you weren't allowed out in the cycling groups, did, yeah, did a few of those, and then I had an injury there, so I just never bothered too much with anymore. But the injury, now hang on, which one is that? Is that the one with the foot? <laughs> the ankle, yes. The ankle. It so was serious they're... enough to, to get an MRI, Glenn. Yeah, well, the reason behind this sore foot is that Mark fell asleep in the van on the way back from <laughs> Ballyhoo, and he believes that I kicked him that hard when he was not sleeping because he beat me. <laughs> But you do the Swift in like early in the morning in your own garden, in your own man cave? Yeah, in the man cave out here, I have a big shed out in the back garden. It's actually an office where I work from, but then sort of office slash man cave. So I'm out here some mornings, it's half five, some morning it's six. Weekends, it's usually seven and get a few hours done uh, before the kids and the wife are out of bed. So yeah, I have the training done before, you know, when they're sleeping. So And that's one of the plus sides of stuff. Yeah. I think some some of the wives are happy enough that the men are in the in the, in the garage suffering yeah. and they're, they're not out actually enjoying themselves too far <laughs> from the house. So that's it. That's one of the plus. And if something is needed, they can just come out and say, "Here, any yeah. chance?" You know. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, you're doing our early early doors, and you're not, you haven't done any races for a while. No, the last races probably would have been the Cycling Ireland ones back in April because just not fit. Just clocking up the virtual miles, and I saying that with other. We had a spin there a few weeks ago, didn't we? And we got absolutely foundered. Yes. Let's, I imagine cool. in Lisburn, freezing, minus yeah. four or something. Sure, sort of realised when, when we're halfway up, we couldn't actually sit, any, uh, sit in anywhere for a coffee. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Baltic. She was just that and swift. Uh, so, with the pain cave and the this office of yours, which you're fixing the computers on, um, if you want to mention that a wee bit, um, you've now started live streaming the races so talk us through the process of what what that entails yeah well the, the live streaming started because you guys were racing the the tuz as ross calls it the ulster swifters chase race and i was basically just looking to watch because it sounds like good crack so yeah. then google got involved and i was like how do we watch swift and there's loads out there it just brings you straight to youtube a guy called nathan I can't remember what his surname is but he streams these and commentates on them live as as it happens so it started off wanting to watch it and then i think i had a chat with you about streaming it then i had a chat with ross and he mentioned commentating so it all happened like in the Just space of two in, in the space of two days there was a live stream going out with live commentating on it yeah you know so uh had to sort of go on to youtube and figure out how i could stream so i have a big setup here there's there's no problem running any of it um it's just figuring out how to do it properly so yeah. spent sort of most of the last weekend trying to figure out how we could do this and do it properly and um, just did a few screen records and then played them back to see what they looked like so they look good uh, i had toyed about with just recording audio and then playing it as i go along rather than do it live because then i wouldn't trip over myself and i could re-record and get it done properly yeah, true. true so then Ross texted me on Monday saying, is there any way that I could get him in to commentate as well? So we tried Discord, first of all, but the problem we had was the delay in the live stream from here to what you guys see is about 20 seconds. Right. So he couldn't commentate on that because I would be talking and then there's obviously a 20 second delay to what he is seeing. What I'm seeing. Yeah. So that wouldn't work. So then Zoom brought zoom in and i can share my screen with him and he okay, can see yeah. exactly what i'm seeing i can record his audio to the stream and that's how wednesday night happens basically okay yeah, yeah anyone i've spoke to or yeah enjoyed it and sort of said you know it's better than just watching without the audio and just getting the helicopter noise you know 
So, <laughs> as Jim was saying, he wanted to know who was flying yeah. the helicopter and then who was driving the submarine. Yeah, so yeah, know. it all worked out really well. Um, just yeah, it, 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 I thought it went good. It's just it's hard for me because I'm controlling the stream and I've got four screens and a laptop going here to make sure everything's going Excuse right. Me. So yeah. it's hard to do that to click on the riders and follow them along as well as try and talk. Yeah. So I was glad Ross was there because he did pretty much all of the talking and did a fantastic job. Well, it's good. Yeah, it's good even for like some myself after the race to go back and and see how that that front group when they got away because I didn't even see them going. Yeah. But the likes of that, they watch it back and then sort of see the numbers that some of the guys were putting out as well, which is crazy. Yeah. Well, I suppose it's good for the riders taking part. They can just go back yeah. as you say and watch it. And... It's there. It's all recorded. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's written down. It's now, it's now a piece of history. On, yeah, on, yeah. On, you know, getting good views. Uh, yeah, yeah. The problem we'll have next week now is Ross wants to ride, so it has right. left me on my own again. So uh, we'll have a few options that we're looking at, but so, a couple of co-hosts. A couple of co-hosts, yeah. So we've sent out a couple of messages, and we're waiting to see who's going to come back, um, and we'll just go from there. But we've got until Wednesday. Um, Another thing I was struggling with was anybody that watched the stream would have seen I had the writer list up on the screens, category D, right through to S, and all the names of the writers. So I took yeah. that at about one o'clock on Wednesday and see by the time five o'clock come, I think another 150 writers had entered. Well, was so there 400, wasn't there? Yeah, there's 437 or something. And yeah. when I did that, there was 300 and something. So it just takes me that long to set that up. That's why I needed to do it at one. So I'm, I'm probably scrap that because there's probably people looking for their names in the writer list that aren't there because they were... The, re- the result sheet's the most important. As long yeah. as you're in the first place of the results, yeah. that's it. That's the main thing. Yeah. So I've been chatting with Ross today. So there's a few secret things Great. going on here yeah. that not even you know about, Glenn. No, no, no. So uh, that we're, try- we're going to try uh, okay. and I'm saying no more. Okay. A couple of jingles or something. It, it should be of, good. Oh, yeah. no, no, it's better than jingles. Oh, oh, jingle. um, so, yeah, there's also now the league starts next week. The TUJ yeah. league. So, so let me see if I can get that up. I think it's six or seven rounds. I think there's eight, eight rounds and it's okay. the best six. That's what it was, yeah. And the first and that, when's, one. What's that take us up to date-wise? When's it I'm just going to get this lockdown? on the screen here and see. can't actually remember the... And somebody was complaining that there was no Alpha Swift in it. Yeah, so the first one starts next Wednesday, obviously, 20th of January, and then it's every Wednesday after that until the 10th of March. 10th of March. And the last race um, is 42.2 Ks, so that's obviously a lot more than the rest of them. They're all in around 30. Yeah, that race, how long was the, the race on Wednesday? Was, it wasn't the 30. Long, wasn't it? Yeah, it was quite, in my 30, opinion, yeah. short, but yeah. That's only because you're A1, Glenn. Well. Think of the D-Riders. Well, that's the majority of the guys. You have to think think of everybody. The grand picture. Yeah. Maybe I could join the Ds and go a bit slower. Oh, yeah. There's there many people the, doing that. Oh, there's a plant. Yeah. Uh, category doping. 32 riders in the wrong category. So that's picked up by Swift Power, who you yeah. have to sort of have a profile with, doesn't it? Yeah. It all has to be done through Swift Power and they sort it out. And if you're in the wrong group, you get DQ'd. Well, the good thing with me is I'm still an A2 rider in the real world. So after this is all over, and fingers crossed that we do get one or two races this year, that yeah, we're in the real. I can't, I can't see anything racing until way after Christmas or Easter, sir. I uh, well, it would be good. Anna Clone's always a good one to start the year off in March. Used to Anna Clone actually used to be the first weekend in April or February. Then, yeah. they, moved, then they moved it to March. So. So they're looking at coming out of lockdown the first week of February. So I suppose it's possible. Well, this is week three of our six-week lockdown, yeah. I think so, yeah. I think we're coming out of it. I thought it was the first week in February, so I suppose there's every chance a bit of racing might happen. Well, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll play it by ear. Yeah. We'll, we'll get another recap after Wednesday's race. Yeah. Um, I have another couple of people lined up here for a couple of chats, um, and we'll go from there. But thank you for all your help and your support for the live stream. No problem. It's not easy. It's a bit of time-consuming, but... Yep. Uh, Stick with us. And we'll crack. Uh, hopefully these jingles come across next Wednesday. <laughs> You'll have to wait and see. Cheers. Right, thanks, Glenn. Bye-bye.